Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is get vertical distance to. Let me run through a quick little example. I'm going to fire this off. We're going to see two values here a distance to and a vertical distance to. And if you notice, they are quite different. Well, the reason for that is the distance to is going to be from my starting point to my target itself, whereas my vertical distance is just going to be how much on the Z or vertical it is from one actor to the other. So let me go ahead and pull up my example and we'll look it over and we'll go for it from there. Let me increase this duration to 20 seconds so we can fix an issue. Okay, so vertical distance to. Let's type in get vertical properly and it's not going to show up. It needs to be under on, you don't need context sensitivity on. It's under utilities transformation, get vertical distance to, and it's because it requires an actor for its target. Now it's also going to require an actor for technically its target because the target is where you're starting and then the other actor is where you're ending. So you want the distance between these two, but only in the vertical. So like this says, it's going to ignore the X and the Y values and it's going to return back a float is your distance in Unreal Units. So let me show you this. In my example here, when I fire this off, we can see the green line and the pink line. The green line goes from the origin to inside of here, which is where my actor's origin point is, and that distance is 455. However, the vertical distance between the starting point here and the ending point here, you can see roughly this image here from this pink to the green, it's going to be 72 units. Of course, if I was to go back farther, we're going to see roughly the same because it doesn't really matter. From where I'm starting at on the Z to where I'm ending at on the Z is this distance. And I can show you that here. If I fire at this sphere, very tiny distance. That's because my character is roughly at the same height as the origin of the sphere, the root of the sphere. So we have a very minor vertical distance. And of course, if I was to do something like jumping up and doing get distance, You'll notice it changes because even though it's wider and it's not like, for example, here, jump, get distance. Even though we have this giant wide spot from start to left to right, the vertical distance is very minor. It's only 10 units because I was jumping from where I started to the middle of here. So keep in mind we are targeting an actor because we're targeting an actor. It's going to go after the origin or the root point. So like for my wall here. It's this indicator in the middle for my player character itself. It's going to be the capsule component. And if this, there we go, put my viewport back. It's going to be the capsule component, which means it's going to be roughly in the middle of this item right here. So I'm going to fire up from the middle and go to my target. You're not targeting where you hit with the line trace. You're going just from the root of the object to the root of the object. And that's pretty much going to wrap up our video. Get vertical distance gives you the vertical distance from one actor to the other. The root points returns back a float, which is the distance in Unreal Units. And remember, it's only the vertical, only the Z. If I was to show you this, let's move it down and hit play and get distance. You'll notice the vertical distance is 27. If I was to jump, it's 115. So it is a distance. It's not necessarily if it's above or below you. You'll have to use another method. It's just how far in units is it from where you're starting to where you're ending. 